wonder how to make an image semi transparent in GIMP, so watch the video to learn how. Let's say I'm going to show you a way to make your image background semi transparent. Not the background, I'm talking about the image itself so that you can actually do some cool things like actually making uh, semi transparent logos and putting over something and it would like look very subtle. So, I the first thing is to download GIMP. So, show you the, so I'm going to start a web browser, for example, Google Chrome, then go to GIMP.org. Uh, after that, it will take a few seconds, so it will load GIMP. That will work. After loading GIMP, that will work. Well, you have to press download, or you can go to the download so that you can download a torrent file. Okay, so you can download via BitTorrent or directly. If it's internet connected, still do it via BitTorrent. Like it sounds a little faster, uh, but you can download the GIMP directly. You can even download the GIMP user manual here and uh, other information here also. After downloading GIMP, is uh, that you need to launch it. So I'm going to close out. So virtually you have to install it and then launch it. So after downloading GIMP, so we're going to actually go start GIMP. So it will take a few seconds, and uh, it's almost done. So actually after that you are you have launched GIMP. Is to open the image. So we're going to go to file, open. So I'm going to just go into my pictures folder, which is wherever I saved the image. So I'm going, I'm going to go to the user and um, pictures. Uh, virtually, yeah, there are a lot of photos here. So I'm going to have to search for all this virtually stuff. Um, no, so ah, there it is. So this is the image I wanted. So you're going to open it. So, well, okay is to add Apple Town, so the, the first thing is that you're going to go to Layer, Transparency, then click on Add Apple Channel. So what Add Apple Channel does, I didn't explain in my last video where I showed it, is that it, whenever you erase something, it will actually um, make it transferred. But um, uh, in this video, we want to make something semi-transferred. But I want to actually make this background transferred so that I could use it in my video. So you're going to click on this. Um, wait, it's going to stop working correctly. So originally I'm going to click on this, and then click on the background, and then press the delete button. So this is very, really, very simple, so I'm going to just click on the rest of the little logo here. Also, uh, um, you can watch my last video about uh, about a game that I wish I showed how to make my ba image background transparent. It's a very good video to watch if you just want to know that. But in this video, we're going to do something else. So you're going to make the image background semi-transparent. In the, so in this case, we're actually going to have to change the opacity of the eraser tool. That's actually going to make it uh, that erases this. So we're going to have to go to the eraser tool. Um, we're going to the eraser tool. So we're going to have to change the size to become very large. So we should we ever erase so that it will erase a little more smoothly, so that we have a good equal test te texture. Uh, we need to also change the opacity here. So this is opacity 100%. Uh, you're going to have to change it to a very less opacity so that it doesn't erase the whole image, but erase half of the image. So we'll start. So this we will get a lot a bigger uh, eraser tool here. Apparently the OS has it to less, I think. Uh, okay, wait a second. Uh, this is wrong. So we're going to have to uh, click on this. And then click on the file select tool again. So just select the image. And then you can erase it. So eventually, uh, this is not working correctly. So then you can erase the image. So eventually, uh, with the same settings. So eventually, you can eventually do a eventually with one uh, texture. So you can do this with the rest of your images apparently. So eventually, you can uh, do the same thing. Uh, eventually, I'm going to pause the video and then I will actually show you uh, the rest of the image. Done. Like I did equal tone texture. You have, I'm going to select in the back. So if you're, after you're done, you can save it. So if I go to file, which yeah, uh, you can save the project, but this will only save an X, uh, uh, CF. So if you're going to do that and you want to uh, do the project later, if uh, you're going somewhere, you can do that. But I become, but eventually to save this as a file, a shareable file, so that other people who don't have this program could see it, you can uh, go to export as and you can uh, name the image. I, I don't want to replace it, I'm going to do Christian Dots logo one. The PNG so that when I replace it, then I'm going to do export. So this will export the image. So 
make sure you say the background color. So uh, wait a second. So uh, also you you have to um, say as PNG or GIF. GIF is not a very good format. It's actually going to save the animation. I think which is that for sure if you have multiple f frames. So I, if you're going to and do more professional I think you have to save in PNG is also a very good format and also will uh, say the transparency of the format so that it will uh, actually be a little bit nicer and also the quality will be very good so I wish you can uh, because wish you can give me I mean GIF images don't support very good color so you, it's not a big idea to save it like that so you're going to go to export and this make sure you still save background color and just export image so after you're done you can actually uh, open the image so i'm going to go to my file explorer here and i will go to my image so i will still show you the difference between both images so this is a semi transfer so you can see a little blue in that the uh, the dos part of my uh, channel name but you it cannot see anything but right here they're completely opaque so eventually i so i will just uh, open both of these so you can compare the differences so eventually right here this is a uh, the one that it wasn't edited and this is the one that i edited eventually later um this is opening taking a while long time to open for some reason wait a second so you can see here there's a little black there it's not exactly as semi-transparent but you're going to put something behind it and you, it will be a little bit noticeable the transparency but you can also maybe make this uh oh, this is just, just weird uh but eventually you can also make um, a little bit more transparent so that will be no more noticeable but it will be less noticeable and it's like which is locals they see on the corner of the screen that's semi-transparent you it will be a little bit more professional i'm not using a professional program right now but if you are a professional program user you can take really advantage of this it's like you can i i i can your video it, it, will, it will in the not interfering location if you make a tv editor this could be useful and the gift is free but if your program that you're using not free uh you can actually uh use it in the, the the movie editor and which or do overlay so this is our lessons subscribe to my channel like this video and share this video with other friends on the internet so do that for the so thank you for watching this video bye